So what does stock rotor protection exactly entail? Does it simply detect when the motor is at a hard stop and not allow you to commutate? Yeah, it, it provides a, uh, um, well, it, I think that the limit is about uh, a half a second when the motor is above a certain throttle level or about a second when it's below about 10%. But what it does is just, uh, it'll give up if it doesn't get any zero crosses um, within a certain period of time. So it'll give up after a certain amount of start attempts without something successful happening. So it's, uh, and that's uh, if you've got your uh, multi-rotor flipped upside down on the ground and you try to arm it, but it's got one blade stuck in a bunch of you know, leaves or something and can't spin at all or a stick, then it won't keep on trying. It'll just stop after a while and, and cut power to that motor. So if you've got a, a low that you expect to get stuck a lot, then you wouldn't want it on. You'd run it just keep on trying and keep on trying to restart until whatever is out of it is, is out of it. But um, most of the time, if you've got a propeller-driven aircraft, anything that hits and stops the propeller is bad news. So... Stuck rotor protection stops it from, uh, and you can bring throttle down to zero, and then it'll it rearms it again. You can try again, so it's you can you can get out of it pretty quickly, but it's uh, it stops you from burning up your motors from continually trying to restart.